Now look, I'm tired and tired and tired again of getting these comments. Steven, where do I find fish? Steven, I can't find the fish. Well, if your lake's got docks, you need to watch this video because we're going to be breaking it down. No BS. I'm going to show you exactly my secret method of finding fish on any given body of water. If they got docks, that makes it even easier. So in today's video, we're just gonna break this down. So make sure y'all smash the like button and let's hop right into this. What's going on guys? I'm Steven Turner with Turner Fishing. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. So I've been fishing docks pretty much my entire life. I turned 34 Friday. So a happy early birthday to me. 20% off on the website, crappymanjigs.com. Just gonna throw that in there right now. Today is August 7th. So that ends on August 9th. But finding fish on docks. We're gonna introduce something that I've never done on this channel. We're introduce the whiteboard. All right. And I'm gonna try this out for this video. If it does good, I may do some more. So let's, let's bring y'all in. Let's bring y'all in. All right, let me, let me check the angle here. Looking, looking pretty good. All right, so on any given body of water, you've got two things. You've got a creek channel or a river channel that's going to go through, you know, your arms, down your main body of water, all that stuff. So this right here will be our channel. So we're going to call this channel. Now I can't write and I can't draw, so y'all can pick on me in the comments all you want. So we got this channel going down. All right, then we got a bank. So if we say this is the bank right here. So on the bank, we're gonna have docks that come out. So we got a dock here, we're gonna have a dock here, and we got a dock here. Now, the way fish use these channels are like a highway of mobility. You know, they're gonna start here, and then, okay, well, in the summertime, they are here in this deep water, so this would be the deep water. So summertime, they're out here in this deep water in the channel. They're up on the points, they're up on the hump, the ledges, the drop-offs, the brush piles, out here on this deep channel. All right, well, when it's time to feed, they're gonna follow this creek channel. They're gonna feed, where are they gonna go? Right here, right there on that dang dock. All right, now, you know, the sun goes down, they feel safe when the sun's down. They're gonna come out, they're gonna hang out out here. You know, some of them are gonna go this way, some of them are gonna go this way. All right, now some of them, they're gonna stay right here, and guess what, when the sun comes back up, they're gonna be right there on that dock. Now what makes this dock more special than any of these docks? Because these docks, these fish right here could go, and then they could come on down, and they could come right here. But why is this one so much better than any other dock in that particular place on any given lake? That is because that river channel swings under this dock. Or that creek channel swings under the dock. Now it doesn't necessarily have to be completely under the dock. If you can find an area where you got a river channel or a creek channel that swings really, really close to a dock, or if you find one that's got a ledge with a big drop off and you got a creek channel, there's gonna be better oxygen, there's gonna be more food, and it's gonna be easier for these lazy ass fish to travel. So they're gonna go from point A and they're gonna come down. It's, it's like going down the interstate. You know, you got some fish that's gonna come out here because they like taking the back roads, you know? Me personally, I like the back roads myself. But 90% of humans are gonna take the easy route. And they're gonna go straight down that channel, that river channel, that creek channel. And what, what they're gonna do, this is a rest area right here. So we've been driving, 100 miles we need to take a leap or get a snack we're going to stop right here at this rest area all right we're going to chill out there chill out there and when we feel comfortable enough to start driving again we're going to go straight on down or we're going to go back the way we came and it's it's a whole circle of life that that lives in creek channels and river channels that's why when ford facing sonar was first introduced there's so many big fish that we never seen before. The only people that could catch them were the people that had 16 rods out on the side of their boat 
and they would troll the river channels and the creek channels. And that's why that was the most dominant pattern in tournament crappy fishing until forward facing sonar. Because until then, that was the only way you catch them. You can't get out here in these creek channels and throw one rod and hope to catch a bunch of fish. I mean, you might get lucky every now and then, but when you got 16 minnows, I mean, I, I don't understand why people think that's better than one pole with four faces sonar. But anyway, these fish were un, uncatchable for the most part, unless they were on this dock. And that's why I know that you know on any given body of water if i look at a map like this right here like this right here <clears throat> look, look at these docks right here 100 percent guaranteed there's some dang crappy on these docks right now as i'm talking speaking teaching you guys what i'm talking about there are going to be fish on this dock they're going to be fish on this dock so pretty much you go to google you pull up navionics type navionics web app into google all right, you find whatever body of water you want. Zoom out, find that creek channel, find that river channel. You can get on your boat if you got a graph that has maps. Find the creek channels, find the river channels, and look for docks that are near. I mean, I'm talking like, like this near, like these two right here. If this one wasn't here, these would be loaded because there's gonna be one dock on that river channel or that creek channel that's gonna be better than the rest now i can't explain it i i don't know why i mean we've got there's one dock in particular that i can think about and if you live on lake murray you 100 percent know this dock it's in my opinion one of the deepest docks on the lake until you get to towards the dam and this dock always has fish on it 365 days of the year now some days it's loaded and then some days you just got a couple fish but there's always fish there because you've got fish going from point a and they're trying to get to point b all year long and the the best way to do that is following these channels and when you've got docks that provide shade provide cover pr provide protection for these fish that's where they're going to want to hang out you know and you can do this in reverse you know, you got the spawn. The spawn happens back here. This is the shallow, the shallow side. All right, you got fish coming from deep water. They're gonna hang out on this dock. And then they're, oh man, I gotta go do the nasty. So they're gonna keep coming along, keep coming along. Boom, we got pre-spawn right here. This is gonna be your pre-spawn spot. Now, I'm, this could be a mile long, guys, I'm, or two, three miles long. So you got the, your deep, uh winter time fish coming out they're like man it's time to go water temperatures in the 50s let's roll and then here's your pre-spawn they're gonna hang out in this channel right here because there's bait here all right they go spawn so they come over here to the shallow water do their thing get up in them bushes and do the bow, bow, bow. all right now they get done spawning where the hell are they gonna go they're gonna turn right back around and then you got post spawn same exact spot and the coolest thing about all this guys is everything i just said is happening it's happening it's all happening you're gonna have these fish deep you're gonna have these fish here you're gonna have these fish feeding here that's a year long thing now, yeah, they're not coming to go spawn all year long, but they're coming down this creek channel. You know, they're schooling up. They're out there with their buddies. They're out there with their mud digging uh, two pound buddies out there have, having a good old shad uh, Bloody Mary out there. And they're just hanging out. And when they don't feel safe, they're gonna come down this creek channel and go check out that dock. Then when they feel safe, they're gonna go out here to deep water and go to the club out here and, and eat some more shad but you're going to have your loners out here on these flats and those those, those are the big ones because you know fat people we don't like to be around a bunch of people so you have your bigger fish out here sometimes so what well, all i'm trying to say to, get, to you guys if you can pull up navionics you can find crappy 
You don't need no damn electronics. You don't need no forward facing sonar unless you're targeting these fish right here. These fish right here are forward facing sonar fish or trolling. You can troll for them. But these fish, 100% catchable without electronics. Pull it up on a map, go fish that dock. These fish deep, you need 2D sonar. You gotta find the brush piles, you gotta find the points, you gotta find the schools of bait fish to be able to catch those. These fish shallow, it, a monkey could catch them because male fish up shallow bite anything. Now the hardest fish in this whole diagram to catch are these right here. And if you've got live scope and you cannot catch these and you live on Lake Murray, you need to contact me. I'll take you out on your boat and show you exactly how to use your electronics to catch these fish. So, just if you can take anything from this video, I know it's a long-winded video. There's barely minimal editing. That's what I wanted to do. And I just kind of want to introduce the whiteboard. I don't know how good it's going to do. But if you can take anything from this, this is winter and summer. That's pretty much the deep fish. These are your brush piles on your points, on your deep, uh, deep drop-offs. And then you got deep docks. That could be considered winter and summer too, but there's always fish on deep docks. And then you come down, this right here is pre-spawn pre-spawn and fall is going to be in the middle of that cycle pre-spawn and fall now these two docks right here can still play ball don't get me wrong they can still play and then you got your spawn and that is the easiest way to just flat out tell you the complete cycle that you need to look for so I mean, water temperature and all that kind of plays a part and everything, but I, we're not going to get in that today's video. But if you like the video, if you learned something, go out there and find this, and you'll catch fish.